We're looking at another GeoGebra app. In this case, we've set a slider alpha that can vary between 0 and 7. And associated with that alpha, there's a number of other measurements. The distance from B to E is always the same as alpha. So when alpha is 2.2, this is a unit circle. So this distance is, is uh, one radian, so this is a, a length of 2.2 of radiuses. And that's wrapped around this circle. So the length of this arc is also 2.2. So as that slides down to, to 0, there we are at 0 radians, it opens up. You can see that that measurement here that gets wrapped around the circle we wrap all the way around to around 6. We're not quite there. Go a little bit more until we're at 2 pi. Uh, then we're back at 0 and then it continues on from there. Okay. So this length corresponds to the 1.4, whatever the alpha is, 1.4 radians. Now, a couple other things that are measured here you'll notice this little red dot right here. This red dot, uh, N I think it's called, the red dot N, shows the, the X value of B prime. So out there N is going to be about a minus one it gets back to zero, swings out until it gets to one again, and then starts increasing after that. Okay. Now remember that the cosine is the x value of the terminal side on a unit circle. So that so the length of this segment, that x value, is going to be the the y value in the graph of the sine. So this distance right here is alpha, 1.1 in this case, and this distance right here between k and m is whatever the x value is of b prime. It's the length of from the origin out to, to uh, n on that unit circle. Okay, so there we are plotting the cosine. When the cosine, when when uh, when alpha is at zero, don't suppose that we actually need to see this circle. So let me um, hide that circle. So as as alpha is at zero and begins to increase, then the x value of b prime decreases until we get to about 90 degrees, pi over 2. As we increase from there, then the x value increases negatively until it gets to a negative 1, and then it begins to, to shrink and get smaller and smaller and smaller until we get to uh, 2 pi. We're back at uh, the same starting place as we were before, and then it begins to uh, get smaller again. Okay, so that's how the cosine works. Cosine gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and then gets larger and larger and larger. Smaller and smaller. Okay.